the invisible money power, is working to control and enslave mankind. It financed communism, fascism, Marxism, Zionism, socialism. All of these are directed to making the United States a member of a world government. Billy Graham You are a den of vipers. I intend to rout you out, and by the eternal God, I will rout you out. If the people only understood the rank injustice of our money and banking system, there would be a revolution before morning. President Andrew Jackson, 1829-1837 I am concerned for the security of our great nation, not so much because of any threat from without, but because of the insidious forces working from within. General Douglas MacArthur The orders, working and involvement in America, is immense. The real rulers in Washington, are invisible and exercise power, from behind the scenes. Felix Frankfurter 1882-1965, a U.S. Supreme Court Justice. I believe that if the people of this nation fully understood what Congress has done to them over the last 49 years, they would move on Washington, they would not wait for an election. It adds up to a preconceived plan to destroy the economic and social independence of the United States, George W. Malone, U.S. Senator, Nevada speaking before Congress in 1957. The real menace of our republic is the invisible government, which like a giant octopus, sprawls its slimy legs over our cities, states and nation. Mayor John F. Hyland of New York. In politics, nothing happens by accident, if it happens, you can be sure, we planned it, that way. President Franklin Roosevelt. Some of the biggest men in the United States, in the field of commerce and manufacture, are afraid of something. They know that there is a power somewhere, so organized, so subtle, so watchful, so interlocked, so complete, so pervasive, that they had better not speak, above their breath when they speak in condemnation of it. President Woodrow Wilson I am a most unhappy man. I have unwittingly ruined my country. A great industrial nation is controlled by its system of credit. Our system of credit is concentrated. The growth of the nation, therefore, and all our activities, are in the hands of a few men. We have come to be one of the worst ruled, one of the most completely controlled and dominated governments in the civilized world. No longer a government by free opinion, no longer a government by conviction, and the vote of the majority, but a government by the opinion and duress of a small group of dominant men. President Woodrow Wilson Single acts of tyranny may be ascribed to accidental opinion of the day, but a series of oppressions, begun at a distinguished period, and pursued unalterably, through every change of administrations, plainly proves a deliberate systematic plan of reducing us to slavery. If the American people ever allow private banks to control the issue of their currency, first by inflation, and then by deflation, the banks and corporations that will grow up around them will deprive the people of all property, until their children wake up homeless, on the continent their fathers conquered. Thomas Jefferson It is not my intention to doubt that the doctrine of the Illuminati, and the principles of Jacobinism, had not spread in the United States. On the contrary, no one is more satisfied of this fact, than I am. George Washington, 1798 Ladies and gentlemen, the very word secrecy is repugnant in a free and open society. And we are, as a people, inherently and historically, opposed to secret societies, to secret oaths, and to secret proceedings. For we are opposed around the world by a monolithic and ruthless conspiracy that relies primarily on covet means for expanding its sphere of influence, on infiltration instead of invasion, on subversion instead of elections, on intimidation instead of free choice. It is a system which has conscripted vast human and material resources 
into the building of a tightly knit, highly efficient machine that combines military, diplomatic, intelligence, economic, scientific, and political operations. Its preparations are concealed, not published. Its mistakes are buried, not headlined. Its dissenters are silenced, not praised. No expenditure is questioned, no secret is revealed. That is why the Athenian lawmaker Solon decreed it a crime for any citizen to shrink from controversy. I am asking your help in the tremendous task of informing and alerting the American people. Confident that with your help, man will be what he was born to be, free and independent.